So the next MCQ in unit two is a context sensitive grammar is. Uh, we have already discussed about it. So the different types of grammar are type zero, type one, type two, and type three. So type zero is unrestricted grammar and it is accepted by Turing machine. Type one is context sensitive grammar and it is accepted by linear bound automata. Type two is context free grammar. Accepted by Pushdown Automata and Type Three, it is regular grammar accepted by Finite Automata. Okay, so it will be in the reverse order. Like while uh, studying for your units, unit actually starts from regular grammar from Type Three. Okay, you should not confuse with it. When it is grammatical structure, it actually starts from unrestricted grammar as Type Zero. So the context sensitive grammar comes under Type One. Okay, so the option is type one. You can have any combination of it, and uh, most of the MCQ actually falls under the same category. And one more thing is like they will ask the combination, uh, like regular grammar. It is a very few structure. Only very few problems comes under regular grammar or a regular language. And along with this few, we have pushed on automata or a context-free grammar. So context-free grammar. So this is called Chomsky hierarchy. Okay, so along with the regular grammar, some extra problems we can express using a context-free grammar, and along with this, some extra portion we can use this as a context-sensitive grammar. Along with this, some extra amount of thing we can call it as an unrestricted grammar. So this is the relationship actually lies between. Okay, so this regular grammar is contained in context-free grammar, and that is contained in context-sensitive grammar, and that is contained in unrestricted grammar. So you may get an MCQ question between the relationship between the uh, regular grammar, context-free, context-sensitive, and unrestricted grammar. So this is called a Chomsky hierarchy. Okay, this way of representing the grammars, right? So this is called a Chomsky hierarchy. So this is type zero, one, two, and type three grammar. You can find the level of restriction over here. Okay, so the next uh, question is a general format for Chomsky normal form. Uh, we have two normal form. One is Chomsky normal form. Another one is Gribat normal form. In Chomsky normal form, all the predictions are of the form two capital letters attached together, or a single small letter, two variable or a single non-terminal. So this is the Production structure for Chomsky normal form. There is no epsilon production. Please make a note of it. There is no epsilon production here. And similarly for Gribat normal form, you have all the production should start with a single small letter followed by any number of capital letter. Okay, the starting one should should be a single terminal symbol, or or else you can have a single terminal symbol alone. A single small letter followed by zero or more capital letter. Or variables, so that is the general format for G and F Gribat normal form. Whereas for Chomsky normal form, two capital letter or a single small letter. In both the cases, epsilon production is not allowed. That is very important. Okay, so here the first option is we have a combination of variable and terminal. This is not allowed. It might be both should be capital letter. Okay, and second one extends to Y, Z, and D. You have two capital letter or a single terminal symbol, so this is a perfect option for a Chomsky normal form. And next one is three capital letter, not allowed. And a combination of capital and small letter, it is not allowed for a Chomsky normal form. So this actually comes under Gribat normal form. And it is G N F. Then you have to say it starts with a single terminal followed by two or more capital letter. It is not an issue. Or a single terminal symbol. So this is your G N F structure, and this is your C N F structure. Okay. And the last question is, which of the following is not a preliminary steps in converting a context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form? So we have a preliminary steps to convert any grammar to a Chomsky normal form. The reason why we convert anything to a Chomsky normal form is to remove ambiguity from the grammar. Okay, so the preliminary steps are: you have three basic preliminary steps. First one is Elimination of all useless symbol. Useless symbol. There are two types of useless symbol. One is non-generating and not reachable symbol. Okay, and the next one is elimination of all um, epsilon production and all unit production. So these are all the three preliminary steps. So we have to check what is the first one. Which of the following is not a preliminary step? 
you have to make sure that you read the question properly. Okay, so elimination of non-generating symbol is a preliminary step and elimination of not reachable symbol that is also non-generating, not reachable. Both are preliminary steps of converting a context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. Elimination of epsilon protection is that is also a preliminary step in converting the context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. Last one is elimination of all terminal symbol. No, we are not going to eliminate all terminal symbols. So the correct option here is D. For this question, the answer is D.